a good day to all this is the act 2 scene 1 of the merchant of venice the scene begins with a lot of pomp pomp means splendid display like dancing music etc both uh, visual and verbal it is marked by the entrance of the prince of morocco one of the suitors to Porsche. So Morocco is a country in Africa uh, and he has come with the wish of marrying Portia. He is dark of complexion yet confident of his charm and valor. Valor means courage. So he is dark skinned and in those days dark skinned people were considered uh, kind of inferior to the whites. Portia found once in that if he fails in his choice of the casket he would never in his lifetime woo a lady who means seduce so Porsche tells that if he does not uh, choose the right casket he will not only marry Porsche but he will also not marry anyone in his life she is doing this because she wants to scare him away she doesn't want him to choose the right casket even by accident this scene provides all the necessary information about the lottery of caskets. Lottery means luck of caskets and the conditions attached to those who make the effort. It also highlights the theme of prejudice. What is the meaning of prejudice? Uh, being judgmental about someone or something without knowing about it. Based on racial, racial means uh, 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 based on skin color and religious differences along with gambling. Gambling means playing games of luck to get money, games and chance. So we will get so many ideas about gambling, about racial and religious differences, uh, the prejudices about them etc. from this uh, scene. Okay, scene 1. Belmont. A room in Porsche's house. Flourish of cornets. Cornets are uh, brass musical instruments they are usually played when some royal people enters etc enter the prince of morocco and his train so here his train means uh, the group of people who are singing and dancing and etc Portia, Nerissa and other of her attendants so they are all the so Prince of Morocco is speaking. Morocco, dislike me not for my complexion. Do not hate me for my dark color. The shadowed livery of the burnished sun. This is just the uniform in the color of shadow of the bright sun. Livery means uniform. Burnished means bright. To whom I am a neighbor and near bread. I am I'm very close, I live very close to the sun and we are very closely related. We are friends, which means that Africa is near the equator. So he is saying that he is close to the sun. The sun is the neighbor, that is why he is that color. Bring me the fairest creature northward born. So he is telling to show him the most beautiful woman in the north where Phoebus fire scares holes the icicles Phoebus is the sun god in Greek mm, and uh, scares means hardly thaws means melt icicles means ice spikes pointed eyes so he is saying that uh, at this place in the northern place even Phoebus cannot Phoebus can hardly melt ice ice cubes or ice. It means that it is very cold. The sun reach, doesn't reach the. He is talking about the coldness of the place. Even the sun cannot melt the ice over there because it's, it is that cold. And let us make incision for your love to prove whose blood is reddest, his or mine. So he is saying, uh, incision means a cut on or a wound, cut in the skin. So, uh, let us, here us means, bring any prince from the north and let us make a wound on our hand. 
and we will see whose blood is the reddest so there was a belief that time that one who has the reddest blood is more courageous or more uh, brave and as the red gets paler and paler they are more covered in nature i tell thee lady this aspect of mine hath feared the valiant so i am telling you lady this appearance aspect means appearance has frightened the valiant even the most courageous people by my love i swear the best regarded virgins of her clime have loved it too at the same time even the most beautiful virgins virgin means unmarried young women climb means country so the young virgins of her country uh, loves me so he is saying he is at the same time frightening and a charming person i would not change this hue color hue means color except to steal your thoughts my gentle queen so he is saying he would never ever want to change his color except uh, to uh, in, 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 in impress Porsche. Porsche is saying now. In terms of choice, I am not solely led by nice direction of a maiden size. Solely means only. So she is saying, if she is choosing a husband, she will only not look handsomeness as the criteria. Uh, what the eyes tell me? Besides. The lottery of my destiny bars me the right of voluntary choosing. So, lottery of my destiny, my fate, the luck of my fate, uh, the fact that my fate depends on luck, bars me, prevents me the right of voluntary choosing, freely choosing. But if my father had not scanned me and hedged me by this wit, to yield myself his wife who wins me that means i told you yourself uh, she is still in uh, scanned means deprived me of free choice hedged me means bound me or tie me or trap me with means wisdom or decision so she is saying if my father had in deprived my freedom of choosing or i want to marry by his idea of the three casket and what what is his trap only a person who chooses the right casket and marry portia so she doesn't have any say in this if it was not like this you yourself renowned prince renowned means noble prince then stood as fair as any comer i have looked at looked on yet for my affection so she is saying uh, you are as good as any other suitor that has come here so she is not um, insulting him based on his skin color she is very polite she is very gentle in her talk she knows how to talk to people morocco even for that i thank you so thank you for your polite reply therefore i pray you lead me to a casket to try my fortune so he is saying therefore i pray you i request you i beg you show me the room where the casket is kept to try my luck by this scimitar that slew the sophy and the persian prince that won three fields of sultan solomon so he say by this scimitar scimitar is a curved small sword he is making a promise by touching his sword and what is the speciality of that sword that slew slew means killed the sophy sophy means the persian emperor and a persian prince so he has killed a persian emperor and a prince with his scimitar and he has won three battles against sultan solomon who is that suleiman the Magnus, magnificent turkish sultan so he was a turkish sultan so he has defeated a uh, persian and Turkish royalty uh, out brave the sorry would I would outstare the sternest eyes that look out brave the heart most daring on the earth 
so i would outstare the sternest sternest means serious eyes that look if someone looks looks at me seriously i will stare back at them and i will win the staring competition what he means is that if someone comes to attack him he will attack that person back and definitely win the same meaning is given in the next sentence how brave the heart mm I would brave the heart most daring on the earth daring means bold so if someone the most courageous man comes to attack me i will out brave his courage and i will attack him and defeat him pluck young sucking cups from the sheep bear i will take away baby bears when they are drinking my milk from their mother yeah mock the lion when he roars for prey and i will challenge the lion when he is Uh, searching for his food why am i doing all this to win the lady so he is telling by the sword i promise the sword that killed so many people i will do all these things for you lady that is what he said but alas the while but alas alas it's kind of like a an exclamation okay but uh, why did he say that he said that because no matter how courageous he is no matter how good looking he is he has to choose the right casket in order to get the permission to marry for sure that is why he said that if hercules and like a spider dies which is the better man and greater the greater throw may turn by fortune from the weaker hand so hercules is a weak character and he is very strong he is one of the most is one of the strongest characters in greek mythology and lycus is his servant so he is saying if lycus and uh, hercules play dice just the better man if they play a game of dice to find out who is the better man uh, it is by luck they win the game of dice right like when we play snake and ladder we are not using our brains or our physical strength it's just a matter of luck so there is a good chance that lycus could win he is undeserving to win so is alcides beaten by his page so is alcides thus alcides mm, alcides also mean hercules so hercules is beaten by his servant because of this and so may i so just like how hercules is defeated by his page blind fortune leading me miss that which one unworthy or may attain and die with grieving so if blind fortune does not bless me the right way someone unworthy than me someone not enough worthy like me will get the permission will get the chance and they will and i will die with sadness because i didn't get to love you so it's here here it's a blind fortune because the goddess fortune has blindfolded herself has tied her eyes that is why different people are getting different luck she is not distributing it equally so porsche you must take your chance and either not attempt to choose at all or swear before you choose if you choose wrong never to speak to lady afterward in way of marriage therefore be advised so porsche is saying either you must do it or not at all attempt so uh, before you do it i will warn you uh, if you do it wrong if you choose the wrong casket you will not only marry me you will not only not marry me but also um, you will also not marry another woman so for she is trying to scare him off from doing this so she is warning him morocco nor will you know. come bring me unto my chance he said nor will not i will never ask anyone else to marry me if i fail this test come bring me unto my chance unto means to chance means trial so take me to the room where the caskets are kept for sure first forward to the temple after dinner your hazard shall be made so here the private chapel where oath is to be taken the word temple is used as it is more likely to be understood by morocco and perhaps more agreeable to him so a chapel to take the oath then after dinner we could do it he said 
The hazard means gamble the challenge. Moreover, good fortune then to make me blessed or cursed an instrument. So he is saying, good fortune. If you bless me, I will be the most blessed man on earth. If you do not bless me, I will be the most cursed man on earth. So cornets, and again cornets are being played and exient. So exient means when more than one or if two or more than two people are exiting the stage, it's called exient. Okay. Even though the spelling is like that, the pronunciation is exient. Okay. So this is the end of Act 2. Scene. Thank you all.